Hey everyone, it's Magenta. Welcome to the 2022 Hackaday Prize Entry Update. Challenge two is reuse, recycle, revamp. Create technology that recycles and repurposes what would otherwise end up in the waste stream. Some materials can be difficult to recover, but creative engineering, a bunch of late nights, and a whole lot of coffee can achieve some incredible results. Whole Struder is a device for using plastic soda bottles as 3D printer filament. PET bottles are cut into strips and fed through an extruder to create printable filament. We love how this project uses scrap components like a car wiper motor and an old PC power supply to make a cheap build that reuses what's already on hand. It's a device made from recycled components that also creates recycled components. Recycleception. Recycleception, anyone? Reusing parts from single-use vapes. Single-use vapes are tossed away after use, but actually have several useful components inside. By simply adding a battery management system, the batteries inside can be safely recharged. These can then be converted into little flashlights or electric screwdrivers or simply harvested for parts. Reuseful, am I right? Solar bottle lamps. Turns out an old soda bottle filled with water makes an excellent light diffuser. This project uses a 3D printed screw on cap with an LED. Just add a solar panel and batteries to complete this build. The result, an awesome portable lamp perfect for camping, adding life to a house party, or if you're feeling bold, the next centerpiece at your dining room table. The best part, it costs practically nothing to run. Reusable modular components. The idea here is to have a series of reusable modular components that can be assembled and disassembled and repurposed repeatedly without soldering. Simple components like buttons and LEDs are soldered onto PCBs that allow them to be connected to a circuit with simple push-fit connectors, making assembly and disassembly a cinch. Wait a second, designs that can infinitely disassemble and reassemble themselves? Do you want Terminators? Because this is how you get Terminators. Is this how you imagined it being delivered, Bradley? <laughs> Recycling a retro rotary phone into a modern smart assistant. Talk about a promotion. This entry takes a great piece of 20th century industrial design and makes it relevant once again. This could be an excellent entry to our next challenge, Hack It Back. A microcontroller reads the rotary dial of the phone, allowing it to be used as a user interface. Dial number four for a weather forecast, or dial a special code to set an alarm at which time the ringer will sound. Feedback can be heard through the handset in an intuitive way. And let's be honest, is there really anything more satisfying than the tactile feel of a good rotary dial? 3D printing in wood, how awesome. This project relies on a binder jet method where powder is sprayed with binder from an inkjet nozzle to create layers of the 3D print. This allows experiments with all different kinds of waste materials. Basically, if you can make it into a powder, you can make it into a print. But keep in mind, getting the right binder and the right powder composition is key to creating quality prints. One example even uses coffee grounds as the starting material. Up next is Hack It Back. Just because there's a new version of something doesn't mean the old one should be tossed out. Show those fancy new designs that you can indeed teach old hardware new tricks. Nice, I like that. For more information, check out hackaday.io. We can't wait to see how you hack it back.